My name is Roger Pisey. I'm the executive pastry chef at Fortnum & Mason. I first joined Fortnum's at the beginning of January 2018. I've been a chef for over 30 years and I've worked with the likes of Marco Pierre White and Albert Roux at La Gavroche. One of the many questions I get asked at this time of year is how to flame a Christmas pudding. The method I'm going to show you is super easy and really quick. But before that, I'm going to make a beautiful brandy custard using just four ingredients plus the brandy, which is going to be really easy for you to make at any time. As in pastry, everything is measured. We weigh everything, obviously, because it's a science. We start off with 120 grams of egg yolks. Also with that, I've got 100 grams of caster sugar, 100 mils of double cream, and 400 mils of milk. I'm going to start off by putting my egg yolks into my round bottom bowl. I have my yolks, followed by my sugar. I'm going to put th th two thirds of my sugar, because the other third is going to go into the pan. And these I'm just going to mix together. While I'm doing that, I'm going to get my milk on. This is an induction stove, so there's no heat coming from the stove itself. Followed by my double cream, followed by a little bit of sugar. And that will stop it from sticking. I'll bring that up to the heat. So you want your milk to come up just under the boil to the scald if you can. And then we're going to pour a third of it onto my egg yolks and then we're going to go back into the pan and stir in continuously with a maurice. We're going to make the custard until it coats the back of the spoon. Now, this is basically a custard recipe. And obviously with this, you can add any ingredients, well, many different ingredients, all lots, sorts of alcohols, vanillas, cardamom, saffron, all sorts, depending on what you want it for. Christmas at Fortnum's is an amazing time of year. If you go around the store and look on each floor, you'll see all the beautiful decorations. On the third floor, we have all our Christmas decorations. On the lower ground floor, we've got our Christmas food hall. And on the ground floor, we've got a beautiful confectionery department with our teas and biscuits. As this milk is coming up, I'm just going to add that. Put it back. And now we're just going to put it back on a medium heat. We don't want it to, certainly don't want to boil, otherwise it'll scramble. And that's when you get all those bitty bits of egg. Just as it's coming up, start to see, start to coat the back of the Maurice. I just put a big slug of brandy in. Okay, that's getting up to about right. Get our chinois and then just pass it. A beautiful brandy sauce, all ready for that gorgeous Christmas pudding. And now um, I'm going to show you how to flame a Christmas pudding and the easiest and simplest method. Now remember doing this, you are using alcohol and you are using flames. So be very, very careful. The two things you need to understand is, first of all, obviously you should have your Christmas pudding nice and hot. And secondly, you need to have your alcohol hot. And then just before you're going into the dining room with all your guests, you turn off the lights, put the alcohol on, set fire to it and walk in and sing figgy pudding. But we're not going to do that now. But what we're just going to do is we're just going to flame it. So we make our pan hot. While we're doing that, we just put a small amount of alcohol in. Take off our beautiful porcelain pot of our Fortnum's King George's pudding, which is nice and hot. Turn the gas on, always helps. We light it, and as we pour, we start singing figgy pudding. There you go. And that's how you flame the Christmas pudding. And then, with your beautiful custard that you made earlier, pour it on the top, and share with all your family and friends. Happy Christmas.